Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Lee. As John said, I'm an incoming assistant professor at Harvard Business School. And today, I'm going to tell you how AI is going to fundamentally change how we test new drugs. Currently, we test every drug through a little process that we call clinical trials. <laughs> how does clinical trials work? There's generally four steps. We select some locations, then we recruit a bunch of people, give them the drug or not, monitor them throughout, and then analyze the data to see if the drug works. This trial and error process is considered the gold standard in determining if a drug is going to work or not. However, modern clinical trials are facing some critical challenges. It's very expensive. It costs over a billion dollars for each clinical trial. The whole clinical trial process takes over five years. And actually, we're not very good at generating drugs that are very good. So, and altogether, it's perhaps not surprising that new drugs are becoming harder and harder to produce. And when they are produced, it's becoming more and more expensive. And today, I'm going to tell you that AI is going to change all of that. The way I'm going to illustrate that is through the first AI-driven trial that I was honored to be participated in with Janssen's COVID-19 vaccine. So let's turn back time to March 2020, when the world was ravaged by COVID, and researchers were hard at work trying to create an effective vaccine. As part of this process, we need to test a vaccine in something called the phase three clinical trial, which is designed to test the real world performance of a vaccine. This is the longest and most arduous process in the testing and usually takes up years. But we didn't have years. There were millions of cases and tens of thousands of deaths happen a day. We needed a solution fast. And therefore, Jensen and I focused on making sure the trial can be done as fast as possible by selecting good locations for the trial. What we know is that we can actually shorten the clinical trial period if we select places that have a lot of COVID cases currently. There's just a little small caveat. We have to select it months in advance. And trying to predict where COVID is going to be four to six months in advance, that's not hard. That's nearly impossible. So here is where AI came to the rescue. We created this AI-driven tool called Delphi that generated multiple possible futures. Essentially, we asked it to generate alternate timelines to give us alternate universes to see what the world could look like in the next six months. And what, it asked, what we asked, them, asked it was that to give us trial locations that would let us be successful in every possible of these futures. And so we first asked us, where should we go in the country level? Where should we go? And it gave us these eight countries. Uh, and then Jensen was like, are you sure? Because this wasn't really the list of countries that they were expecting. And so we went back, checked our AI, AI checks out. And they're like, I don't know if I trust your AI. And we're like, the AI says it's this. This is data driven. This is what the AI says. So much deliberation much consultation, decided to bet and believe in the AI. And we used the AI to select the local trial sites, and September 2020 come, the trial started. And boy, was that bet a success. We managed to accelerate the trial by eight weeks using these AI-selected trial locations, reduce the trial length by over 33%, and we managed to only need to recruit 25% less people. We, only, we needed 15,000 fewer participants. And moreover, because we went to the locations that Jensen wasn't initially considering, we resulted in the most diverse COVID-19 vaccine trial to date. And we also had the first vaccine trial that had vaccine efficacy data on the variants, including the beta and the gamma. Why? We were in Brazil. We were in South Africa. However, the way that we have done this first AI-driven trial has only scratched the surface of the potential of AI in this space. Beyond speeding up the trial, AI can make trials much more accessible so that underrepresented groups can be part of trials that they historically were not allowed or not considered to be. AIs can make participating in trials very easy so that people can join a trial while they're sitting at home and not needing to go to clinics or do expensive tests or have invasive procedures. And finally, AI can make drugs more effective by personalizing the treatment to every single person's different physiology. As our AI-driven vaccine trial comes to a close, 
I hope that this talk inspires you to think about how AI can fundamentally change how we test drugs into the future and help us live better, longer, and more fruitful lives. Thank you very much.